Kind of scale guys, next is here and welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we're back on it with more content. As I said, it's still the same week. Season of the Dawn came here with loads of new weapons. We're back with another Saint 14 weapon. They are pretty easy to obtain. You get them from the Sundial. The one we're going to be doing today, though, is going to be called Martyr's Retribution. Now, the way to get this is to unlock the obelisk that is on Mars and use your Sundial link on the Mars one. And you can choose between the Martyr's Rebirth Retribution or the Sans line, which is the fusion, linear fusion rifle. But as I said, this is a grenade launcher, but this is not your typical grenade launcher this is a really weird one it's a brand new archetype that's come into the game we haven't had one of these before but as with all these same 14 weapons they will have random rolls so whatever to do let me go in and show the roll i got martyr's retribution that which returns from the void will always seek revenge so you can see straight away it will be a one barrel grenade launcher in terms of it shoots one bullet you gotta reload straight away sort of like a fight line-esque sort of look to it but as it's saying 14, if we put any shader on it, it's going to look pretty sweet. If we put Callus on it, it looks nice. The Midnight Shader, though. Oh, 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 oh. These shaders and these weapons, man. When you put shader on them, they look so beautiful. But as I said, when it comes to this grenade launcher, it has a new intrinsic perk. And the intrinsic on it is going to be Wave Frame. One-shot handheld grenade launcher. Projectiles release a wave of energy when they contact the ground. Now, this is really, really different in terms of how it shoots. It's basically like the if you use a Sun Striker's termite grenade, the way it hits the ground and explodes and like shoots forward. That's basically it. It doesn't do a pulsing wave or anything. It's just one wave as soon as it hits the ground. It is a really interesting archetype. I can't wait to try it out. But in terms of obviously, you're going to have your launcher barrel. So I've got counter boss. Greatly controls recoil, increased stability, increased handling speed. Or it could go for quick launch with greatly increased handling speed and increased my projectile speed. I also have high velocity rounds. So this weapon's projectiles are particularly light and quick. Increased projectile speed, increased reload speed or could go for implosion rounds this weapon's projectiles travel faster and have controlled explosion greater projectile speed great increased stability decreases blast radius for the trait we got auto loading holster this holstered weapon is automatically reloaded after a short period of time or we have the new traits that are in for the season of dot weapons elemental capacitor increased stats based on the currently equipped subclass we got to get reload speed increased handling or increased stability I mean, for this elemental capacitor, I am going to be a striker titan because obviously increased handling means I can whip it out faster, I can use it faster, or stow it faster, so handling is super nice in a grenade launcher. But you will see on the screen now all the different types of rolls you can get for this weapon. And you can see in terms of perks, there isn't any like quick draws and stuff like that, which is a shame because quick draw on a grenade launcher can be really, really good. From what you can see, there isn't any that you'll be like, oh, this is going to be unrelievable. Auto loading, I think it might. I think auto loading is the best one in this sort of tree. There is a new perk led from gold as well, which is on special weapons and stuff. Basically, when you pick up heavy ammo, you'll also pick up ammo for the weapon, like your special weapons. But that perk's only for special weapons, and I don't know if it'd be useful for PvP anyway. And saying that, without further ado, let's go into Crucible and try the Martyr's Retribution out. Alrighty, so we're going to be on Gambler's Rune, and we're going to be using, obviously, the Martyr's Retribution. This is what it's going to look like. It sort of reminds me more of the, uh, like, the Chaperone sort of thing. It's a pretty big-ass weapon. But this is going to be it, and this guy already here. And... Uh, I died to a flux grenade. Did he stick me? Oh, man. I didn't even get to shoot it. It's going to be really weird, though. You'll see as soon as I shoot this at someone's feet, it's going to gonna look really weird. It's basically, as I said, a grenade, like a Sun Striker's termite grenade. But it's uh, a bit more of a you shoot at their feet sort of job. So if I come over here, boop, we'll get him. And <gasps> are, you for, are you for real right now? Did you know what happened? It hit the stupid step and went the other way. It has the same problem as that other termite grenade. <laughs> so it hit like there and bounce backwards these things bounce they only explode once they hit the ground so when it comes to oh my god <laughs> i can't even get a shot off the only way these actually explode though is if i shoot at the ground like that you can see i did some damage he kind of dodged away from it so he's like only 50 ish it does about uh, it, it should do some decent damage it won't one shot though that's the only problem with this grenade launcher and that's a shotgun Oh man, this has gone bad already. But yeah, this grenade, this grenade launcher won't like one shot or anything. You can see though, you can get them really weak and just uh, pop them in the face with a punch or whatever. So it's literally, it's it's sort of literally like uh, the old mountaintop. You just got to get them weak with it and then you can spray them afterwards. There's no uh, one shotting with it. Even if you hit them, what will happen is it'll bounce off them. And it might actually, it can actually one shot technically if you hit it off them. And they're stupid enough to run into the actual explosion afterwards. But you'll see like it's just a damage like 130. Look at this guy. We oh we didn't actually hit him, and I'm out of ammo. <laughs> but yeah, um, that is <laughs> that is the new grenade launcher in a nutshell. It's like a really weird sort of mountain top. It's like a poor man's mountain top. Put it that way. I mean, it won't one shot when it hits the ground if you hit them, but you get them weak enough that you can follow up with some sort of uh, shot like this. And there we go. Look at that. See, I got a weak. I got my thing on. 
Ah, we killed him. Yeah, that is a very valid point, though. Um, why would you use this instead of Mount's Top? Maybe if you want to use something else, like Last Word. Like, this with the Last Word combo is actually pretty sweet. If you want to use something even, like, with Quick Draw or something, like Home for Lost. That hand count is pretty sweet for this, but we'll get him. <laughs> I do like when it goes through them as well. It just, like, kind of burns them to hell. It's like a weird sort of grenade. You know what? Screw you, buddy! Did I? Oh, I hit him. <laughs> but, yeah, you can see, if I hit the stairs and stuff with this as well... It actually, it'll actually start bouncing backwards. That's like the most annoying thing about it, is that it can't actually backwards. Oh, uh, come here, buddy. I actually just waste this. This I have not used the striker titan in so long, and that was a terrible super. But like you'll see it if I go to a wall like here, like you'll see it bounce. And there is no way of like exploding it whenever you want, so I can't just keep my like like fighting line and stuff. I can't keep my finger on it just to make it explode randomly. I've got to literally wait for it to uh, hit the ground. See, you just gotta have to kind of get used to it and stuff. Like, oh my god, that didn't even hit them. You gotta get the whole flame doing it. You don't want to hit it too close to their feet. You want to get the whole flame to really hit them. Because unless it does that, it doesn't do it doesn't do much damage otherwise. Like, you'll see, I only did 50-ish damage to him. I just for a recluse, I missed every shot. But you see, it only does, like... <laughs> It gets rid of their shields, basically, so they are one shot away. So, yeah, this is the new type of grenade launcher. Pretty cool, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's, it's cool and all, but it's like, you, you might get a lot of kills, but you're also going to get tons of deaths. It's not, it's just not as effective as the mountain top. The mountain top, it's just got more to it. I mean, it's obviously one shot hits them if they hit their heads or whatever, you hit their body and stuff. This is like, I mean, like, he gets super weak and he just gets away because I didn't finish him off and there's a freaking herbalist. So, like, it's just that sort of scenario where you're like, oh, I'd rather use Manta Top. And with Manta Top, obviously, you can use things like Recluse, which is always just going to be exponentially better. Unless you want to use, you can obviously use things with Kill Clip or something else or Rampage and stuff if you want to get them weak and then finish them off. But you're still, like, ultimately better off using some other sort of, like, just basically using Manta Top. This guy's here, though. We get him and we didn't even get him weak. Even though this is a bit weird and stuff, it's still not bad. I mean, as far as, like, the whole grenade launcher combo goes, grenade launcher combo with something that's quick and stuff, that's always been a somewhat of a good combination. Especially because this has auto-loading holster. Oh, he's not even there. Oh, he did hit him. I hit him. He's weak. He's weak. And he's gone. It's still a pretty fun combination and stuff, though. Like, we can get... It's, it's going to be really good for when someone's weak. It means you just don't have to be accurate. You can literally just, like, plop a bullet, like, right down into their feet. And you get, like, a bunch of damage in. I think that's the best thing about it. And he's weak, but he's going to have a shotgun of some sort. No, he's not, but... Yeah, that's the other problem is that... It blast radius is fine and everything. But the damage this does with the explosion is not great. It's really about the flame. Obviously, it's wave intrinsic. So the flame is really what you're looking for to do damage. So, like, you can see I did 130 to him. But the flame is really what you're looking for. And if you don't get the flame to go in, like, if, you, if they're not on the ground... What?! ACT does he didn't even punch me. What is this nonsense? But if you don't get the uh, flame to actually hit them and stuff, you do like next to no damage, which I do, which obviously isn't great, especially when they're like if they're just hiding on the ground and stuff. This guy is here, but you're too far away. But I have the all loading on, so I can go like this, and we can get this guy. Whoop! There we go. And there's a golden gun going in. Yes, there is. <laughs> Oh, uh, but there is the V. A pretty weird game. You can see this is a... It's a bit of a niche weapon for a Crucible. I am... Um, obviously, Mental Top is just going to be exponentially better. It's, it's pretty weird they brought this out now with Mental Top being so relevant and really good. But we get all over all together. We got 30 kills all together, 1.67. Not a great scoreline, your man. Oh, Flickster just went in. Alrighty, so we're going to be going into PvE, of course, with the old Martyr's Retribution. Honestly, this is where it's going to be its bread and butter and stuff. This is what it was built for, I'm going to assume anyway, because PvP-wise, it's, it's not bad or anything, but like, look at the carnage you can do with this just for shooting it at the ground, and you'll see it, loads of things just die. So this is realistically where it was built for. So it's more for when mobs like rushing you, like a bunch of trolls and stuff. You can literally just spray it down and get a bunch of them. Because the damage is relative, like, it doesn't actually, like, slow down. The damage is going to be the same at each point. So if I shoot, like, from here, and I hit something back there, it'll still do the same damage. So even 469, 469. Again, though, this is more for, like, dealing with mobs and stuff. So you're still going to have that. You're probably not going to be doing tons of damage to, like, a singular sort of, like, yellow bar enemy and stuff like that. So you'd probably be like, oh, I'd rather use a shotgun for dealing with them. This is more, this is literally a mob cleaner. It's literally for dealing with mobs and stuff. And again, you'll still be like, why wouldn't I use Mental Top? But this lets you use, like, an Izanagi's Burn well. If you want to, you can use Nick and Isis Burden with it. You can also use any other sort of kinetic weapon. It just means that you don't have to use Mental Top or Clues. It's like, you can use other stuff to do damage. I know Mental Top is just insane for damage. That's what happens when you got Pinnacles in the game. They're always going to just be extraordinarily 
OP in their archetype and everything. And this pretty much is the same archetype as Mountain Top in terms of velocity stats and everything anyway. So when it comes to this, obviously everyone's going to be like, oh, Mountain Top is so much better. But if you, just, if you just ignore the Mountain Top and just think about these weapons, they are a cool archetype. I am liking them. And it's going to be really interesting to see if these will ever come in like a void sort of energy. We'll see what the damage is like against the yellow bars though. You'll see it'll belt through them all. Look at the shields going down and we'll just belt them. There's a, what a little like troll thing or whatever it's called. <laughs> I can't remember the name. Goblin, that's what I'm looking for. Oh boys, let's just melt it. I will say though, PvE, it's definitely, it's not bad. It's a really interesting archetype. And there is W. I will say though, the archetype is super interesting. Especially with the way you can do it. Like look how far it actually goes. It goes at least three meters at least. Okay, so we're actually going to be on Rusted Lands on console with the uh, Martyr's Retribution. I have not played this map since it came out. This is the new map from Season of Dawn. New Crucible map. It is obviously the old one from D1. Rusted Lands, it was a very nice trials map. Oh my god, the memories of that. But we're going in with the uh, with this Martyr's Retribution and I'm getting burned alive, buddy. Where, where's the teammate got? My teammate! Come on! Burn, burn, burn! I didn't get a kill for that. I did not get a kill for that. I literally shot him straight on the... And there we go. There's the kill. Okay. This is uh, this is going to be a lot harder. I can already tell. Because I think jumping is like the meta on a console for a bit. I mean, it's not like it's everything. But a lot of people do... Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, I have no idea what's going on. But we need to get this going. Come here, come here buddy. <laughs> oh. Maybe I should have switched weapon. He had a recluse fully proc. So maybe I should have just shot him with the last word. But yeah, jumping seems to be... I wouldn't say meta, but it seems to be a lot, I think most people do. Because obviously sliding and like isn't great for movement and stuff. So what a lot of people really do is they jump around the place. Which it makes sense, especially because hunters are like... Oh my god, can I get this guy? Yeah, there we go. But yeah, hunters seem to be like the main class. So everyone just jumps around like bunny hopping and stuff. And then you also got the other people who don't bunny hop. Oh. Ooh, I didn't hit him. Oh, can we get this guy? Thank god. But yeah, once someone jumps in this, oh, I'm so dead. But once somebody jumps over your th your wave, <laughs> you're pretty much screwed. It does, you just can't do anything. It's so annoying as well because like you waste an ammo shot and it just disappears and it's like, oh, he just he's gonna do me like that. Oh, get this guy up here though. See, he, when they're up in the air as well, it also <laughs> it's also a lot difficult as well. But we'll get him now and he's weak as hell. But but buddy, guys, buddy, 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 buddy. The unloading holster though will try get one of these guys. Oh my god, did I even hit one of them? Oh my god, what, what am I doing? What, like, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I would say you probably want with the auto-loading holster. Maybe you get a prime that uh, has auto-loading holster as well. I mean, you don't need. It's not necessary per se, but for me anyway, it would help out a lot because I'm literally just using it and then switching it straight away. And that guy. Oh, oh come on, get him, get him, get him! And he got me with the jade rabbit. You know what though? This map actually feels super good. I, I'm like I've only played like obviously I've, like half a match, if not even. But I'm already thinking it feels actually super nice. It feels literally like a Destiny map. There's no close coordinates. Like you're not just getting absolutely destroyed by shotguns 24/7. You can kind of uh, pace yourself a bit. We'll get this guy, and he's weak as hell. But that's so special. That's special. That's special. That's special. Oh, oh, that. that. Buddy, did you just take my special? I just ran through enemy lines. I just took fire for that special. And you're just going to take it on me? That makes sense. Look at this guy, though. He must have got hit by that. There he is. Hey, buddy. There we go. Dead and buried. That's what you got to do. See? It's actually... As far as grenade launcher combos go, this is, uh, this is a really good one. It's... I will say that it's more reliable than, uh, obviously... Oh, my God. We need to get that guy. It's more reliable than using the normal sort of way to use uh, grenade launchers. Because when it usually comes to them... When you're like you're trying to time, obviously you're trying to time the grenade to explode and stuff on people. A lot of times that doesn't really work. Look, come on, burn, burn. Oh my god. Okay, can you just die, please? He's weak, boys, boys. He's weak, and he tried to use that on me. Oh my god, buddy, I've got two bullets, and they both have your freaking name on them. Oh, no! Oh god, come here. Oh no, there's a second guy now here. Oh. Really? We're gonna have to use a super on these guys? Yeah, we're gonna have to. Oh, come here, come here. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Ba -ba -ba bam ba 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 Oh, the quad! <laughs> the quad kill! Oh, we are so- Oh, and then the guy with the super comes in after. We absolutely just annihilated them there. So yeah, the one time I actually used the super properly. See, I, I could use supers, boys. Oh, oh, I hit two people! Oh, no way! Hey! <laughs> but that's the other really good thing about this is that um, it does a wave, so... It will hit, like, if they're all grouped up and stuff, it will hit, hit multiple targets. And by doing so, oh, this guy's gonna, he's gonna jump across. I know he is. He is. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Let's go run. Oh, my God. Really? A second one's got... Oh, I nearly got Nova Bomb. What is going on? Oh, I'm so confused. But, yeah, the thing is, when there's multiple targets, you can literally kind of, like, not spray it, but... You can just have it hitting multiple targets, and it will do 130 to everyone. Get up here, though, and uh, try burn this guy alive. Oh, my God. We actually hit him with it, and I did no damage to him. What the hell? Oh, oh, no. So, you will see that when you do hit them with it, it just bounces off them. That's the most frustrating thing. So, it's literally, most people are like, oh, it's sort of like Mountain Top. Like, it, it, it has a sense of it. It is the same sort of velocity. You got to obviously shoot it real fast, and it hits the ground super quickly. But it's it just if you hit somebody with it... Well, tough luck because you're not going to do much damage. You're, you're going to hurt them, like barely, but you're not going to do anything special to them. And this guy's super weak, and I am so dead. I will say, though, they will fit certain play styles and stuff. And as I said, they are a lot more reliable than trying to explode it yourself. I think that's the one thing people want to do. Oh, 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 and he's weak. And we, we got him. We got him. And I can't touch bro. I don't have it procced. But yeah, I really just don't feel as dirty using this. When you use Mountain Top Recluse, like every time you do it and kill someone, you're like, oh, this is pretty... This is pretty cheesy. I feel sort of scummy for doing this combination. At least this one, you can keep your sanity in check just for using grenade launchers. That's the best thing about it. And I just hit him again. I keep hitting him with the freaking thing. Oh my god, there we go. Oh no, I need to dodge all the way. I've got this though. Oh, pop, pop, pop. Ah, we actually got the kill. What did we get all together though? That was a really cool map. 26 kills all together, 2.36 efficiency. It wasn't really high scoring, but ugh, the nostalgia playing that map. It was actually a map that played well. Well, that's it for me and the Martyr's Retribution. Honestly, it's actually a really good hand grenade launcher. I do love the archetype in terms of it's new. It actually has its uses. Obviously, not like it's not going to be dominant in PvP anytime soon. I think because you can't one-tap with it as well. I know these sorts of one barrels aren't made for one-tap and they're made for getting people weak. But the fact of the matter is that every other grenade launcher, you can kind of time to explode beside them. So if they're in the air, you can still damage them. With this, as soon as they jump, <laughs> it's like... Is that fire on the ground? Oh, how about I just bunny hop and not get hurt at all? And it's just the most annoying, frustrating thing that happens. If I actually did break it down, PC, PvP, I thought it was really cool. They're not as much jumping on PC, PvP, so you didn't get the annoyance of it that much. And obviously, you can spray, like, most people stay on the ground, so when you're hitting them with it, and obviously, it's faster movement and everything. In PvE and stuff, I felt that it was really strong. Obviously, when dealing with mobs, this is, like, the best way to do it. Obviously, termite grenades are great, but this is, like, a constant termite grenade. You can keep on spamming this to deal with mobs. Obviously, termite grenades eventually end for the titan but at least this one you can keep it spamming it and keep on doing tons of damage to like mobs and stuff and then pvp on console i will say it's a bit more of a nuisance because i think pvp console a lot of the a lot of the movements and stuff is jumping because obviously sensitivities it's harder to like follow someone who's jumping in the air than someone who's just like kind of strafing around the ground so a lot of people tend to jump a lot more meaning that this isn't as good because once you jump you dodge the flame so overall i would say on pvp console it's probably not going to be great for you i mean it, it has its uses of course if they're all grouped and they're all standing but as i said there is a jumping meta sort of on console so overall i wouldn't say it's great but regardless if you like the video throw us like and if you want to see more content subscribe and plastic day and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one